Hey guys, we got a uh, new uh, collet here, the Royal uh, Quick Grip Collets. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Um, we needed a job that um, that was a one one and a half inch bar square, and uh, we'd run it before on a manual uh, lathe with the four jaw chuck and everything. But uh, we wanted to see. Um, we really don't want to have to do that again. We got the. Uh, QG65 uh, so that we could get that size range and uh, my brother's going to show uh, pulling, changing collets on this thing. Oh, and the collets themselves weigh about four pounds, I believe, uh, for the QG65 anyway. Uh, that's taking a collet out. He's going to go ahead and grab a one inch collet. The collets are rather expensive as well, so we only picked up uh, the two we needed currently. Alright, that's the one inch. And uh, there you go. Now, one of the cool things about it is it's got quite a bit of uh, closing uh, range on it. So you can see how loose that one inch bar fits in there. And uh, we've had uh, problems before trying to shove you know, a little bit oversized one inch down into a uh, 5C collet. So anyway, uh, this thing tightens up crazy tight, holds along uh, the entire surface of the um, the collet jaw instead of just on the edge like the 5C. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and switch back to the uh, square and uh, put the uh, square bar in there. Round back out. In. This is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna get the uh, square bar in here. And uh, between pulling this, uh, pulling the old uh, chuck off, and putting this on, it was it only took about 30 minutes. Um, there were four, four, no, six bolts holding the the chuck on. Um, then you rotate it off. Uh, that's threaded, and then uh, just cleaned up the face and everything. Make sure there was nothing in there, um, and then. There's a, a piece with O-rings that slides down the middle of this, and uh, you screw that onto the, uh, the, I don't know what the threaded bar that pulls back and forth is called. And then you put in, uh, put in these bolts here, and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, and so far, it's been great. Okay, so the uh, the bar we're putting in here is uh, 36 inches long, and there's not enough room between the the sub spindle in the uh, main, so uh, we have to feed it through the uh, through the spindle. So, but, man, look at that! There's even like quite a bit of like flex there. I mean, uh, extra extra room. Uh, but when it tightens up, I mean, it brings that thing on center. All right, thanks for watching, guys.